Hello, warriors, and welcome. <gasps> Whoa. What is this? Okay. Um. Okay. Alright, well. I guess we have to skip focus. Yay. I guess. It didn't say anything. Okay, so we're doing guided learning. Okay. Look at him. He's so pretty. Zoom in on that face. Okay, yeah. Alright, so I don't know what that was about. I guess this, the Xbox doesn't have Adobe Flash. Let's say that the expression $9.98 times T stands for the total cost of buying t-shirts that sell for $9.98 each. What does T represent? T rep times T when the total cost of buying shirt t-shirts that sell for $9.98. What does T represent? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the number of shirts that you purchased. All right, yeah. That one's easy. All right. Which expression represents five less than a number? Less than? That would be this one. The one that goes like... I don't know. It would be this one. So the number is N. Five less than a number. Right here. What? Watch it be this one. I knew it. I just had it backwards. I deserve all the points. I just had it backwards. A six pack of 12 ounce sodas sells for $2.50. The expression 2.50N represents the cost of a number of six packs. What does the variable N represent? How many you're buying. Six packs purchased. Yeah. These are getting easy. Alright. Kayla ran L laps around a one quarter mile track. The equation D equals 25 hundredths times L gives the number of miles she ran. If D is one and a half, which statement does not describe what L is? Okay. Um. Hmm. It's not, well, Kayla ran the length of one laps. How many laps Kayla ran? Ran around a 1.4 mile track. Okay. So this is how many ran, how many laps she ran around that many. Okay. So Kayla ran half of one lap, the length of one lap. One third laps around. I think it's this one. This one. Alright, yeah. That one was odd. That one was odd. Okay. The equation C equals 44 hundredths times N gives the cost of buying some 44 cent stamps. Which best states the meaning of C? Okay. The, the equation C equals 44 hundredths times N gives the cost of buying some 44 cent stamps. Which best states okay. the meaning of C. Okay, so it means the cost of stamps in cents. So it d best represents it? Times the number. I think it's this. What the hell? It, watch it be the first one that I said. No? What? What best in dollars? Well, that could also be 44% of a dollar on a sheet. 
Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? I don't get that one. That one was a bit hurt. Okay. Which is not a way to state the meaning of the expression x plus 2. Not a way. Okay. So x plus 2. Well, it'd be 2 more than a number. Yeah, that that's one. A number that's added 2 times. Added 2 times. 2 that is added. 2 is added. Increased by 2. I think it's this one. Yeah. Alright. Is not the same as others. What? Okay. A, a number added to itself. Okay. A number increased by two. Twi okay, yeah. This is not the same because that's like something else. What? Oh, it multiplied. It increased. These are all adding. These are all adding except for this one. Oh my god, what is going on? Twice a number. That's times two. Oh my god. Really? That's poopy. Man. Alright. Oh, well, thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And see y'all next time on Math Monday. Yay!